I know how important this one was to you. You talked about it with us the other day, but just kind of take you through the emotions of, of getting through this one and getting such a big win like that. That's, I, I, I'm, I'm just happy. I'm just glad I won, and I hope she's okay. You know, I, I, I didn't get to say anything to her after the fight. They took her right out of there, so I'm just hoping she's okay. Um, were you able to tell sort of what, what the issue was with her? I mean, we saw her some, some bring in the stretcher, and I was a little surprised by that. because I think that might have been a little overkill. I really don't know. They, I heard that she was a little unresponsive in some ways, but I think it was more emotional than, I, I don't know, I really don't know. But, um, um, yeah, I, I, I know that my hits were hurting her. I could tell she, by the look on her face and the way she backed up that it was just, it was, it was taking everything away from her, you know, and that's, that's what we were going for, so we to just be relaxed, be smooth, be moving every time she hit, be, you know, ducking out of the way and returning back and just commit. So I could tell that my hits were, were making progress and doing the damage. So was, was there anything you felt uh, right away in the first round or anything like that that, that you could tell things were going to go exactly the way you kind of planned them out to be? And then secondly, how did you, you know, how did you prepare to deal with her length? She's six feet tall, I guess, right? So, I mean, yeah, well, you're ready for that, clearly. Yeah, and well, somebody like me, like I've said before, I've been told I have a 70-inch, 72-inch reach, you know, so even only 5'8", I got really long arms. So, um, we've been just, I've got other fighters in my gym that are taller than me, you know, and have a longer arm. So, we've been, work, we've been working for that longer reach. That was kind of my kryptonite for a while, is, is somebody who was taller than me, because I was used to being somebody with the longer reach, even though I'd have somebody my size, I still had longer arms. It's just something about my, my body structure. So um, that was part of the plan, you know, be slipping and moving and returning back and break away from how I chase people down, you know, and being overly aggressive and just picking my shots and being ready to, to deliver back where, where I needed to. And uh, um, I think, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying anything bad about her. I don't know if it was a mental thing that she was going through or what, but when she hit me, it wasn't hurting. So I don't know if it was my, you know, if my training really was sufficed enough to be able to take that because I mean we, we go hard at my gym. So just the first few shots that she connected with, I was able to shake them off. I saw stars. She did hit me, you know, but it wasn't enough to hurt me and it's and shock me and make me stop. But I'm kind of hard headed, so it's just the more I get, it takes real damage to get me to, to stop. You know, I, you talked a little bit about sort of the validation of getting a win like this after. I mean, you talked about the tough year or so that you've had outside of, of fighting and, and how important it was for you to be back here and just be able to get in there and, and actually just have a fight again, but just get a win and, and at a kind of an important time in this division, just talk a little bit about what that means to you at this point. I don't know, I guess for me, I guess I'm just growing, you know, getting more more and more used to my career and myself as a fighter and who I am, so I'm, I'm easing my way into just relaxing more. I felt very, I, I, I felt good going in there. I didn't. I usually I'm just shaking in my head. And I'm scared, you know. But I, I feel like emotionally I'm starting to I'm starting to figure it out more and I'm growing it and maturing a lot more. So it, it's it, it helped, you know. The nerves were there, but as soon as I got out there, the bell rang. I just remembered what the game plan was. Put my hands up, kept them up, and just just stalked her, you know. I just thought predatory, you know, not lashing out, but just being that that predatory cat, just stalking, stalking, stalking. And, coming in where it was right so for me it's I think it's important you know for me to grow like that to be changing because if I ever I'm going to get that title I'm going to need to get my head together and figure out you know where my emotions and my nerves lie and see you know and just figure out what triggers me but I mean I've, I've endured so much emotional pain lately it's this is starting to become easier. <laughs> is this something where you want to get back in there pretty quickly? Uh, I mean you talked about her hitting you and, and you didn't feel it the way you might normally have felt it you don't look like you're touching up at all. I mean, would you like to get in there pretty quick for your next one? Maybe. I would like to take, you know, a few months to absolutely train harder, you know, okay. and be able to get a longer camp because that was kind of a bother to me as I didn't get as long as a camp as I would like. So, I mean, and I I think it, depending on, you know, depending on what's going on, I, that, those back-to-back -back fights that I did last time did stress me out. Um, and I didn't have a long enough camp, so I wouldn't want to just go right back in. I need a, I need a camp. I need to be... You know, getting getting more more of myself um, avail available into my into my gym and into a camp, and I, I wouldn't want to get back there and immediately. No, I, I think I need to take some time to just keep training and training hard, and keep sparring and 
just grow, just keep growing and growing. Just everyone's talking about that title fight, and you know, I could be. It's, if I'm going to be a title holder and beat the champion, I've got to also be able to keep that belt, not just have it and lose it. And, you know what I mean? So I need to. I, I, I know it's it's going to be around the corner very quickly, but I don't mind if it takes a little bit longer. I, that's a lot of responsibility, and I have to be ready for it.